In this video, we're going to make use of the stat class provided to us by the standard template library in C++ to create a very simple reverse Polish notation calculator. So we can get an idea of what's going on with reverse Polish notation. I've brought up this website called ecalc.com and they have a simulated calculator here uh, that allows you to do standard infix notation and also reverse Polish notation. Uh, so let's look at the difference between infix notation, which is probably the most familiar notation, and reverse Polish notation. So say that we wanted to have the following expression. Say we wanted to do this. We wanted to do uh, 1 plus 2, and then we wanted to multiply that quantity by 3. So if we're using standard infix notation, we have to use these parentheses in order to indicate that we want to do the addition of 1 and 2 before we do the multiplication by 3. Uh, so we can see there that the, the resulting value is 9. If we didn't use the parentheses, then we would have something like this. We'd have 1 plus 2 and then multiply by 3. And so that would end up doing the quantity of 2 times 3 first, which would be 6, and then plus 1 would be 7. And you can see that result there. On this uh, simulated calculator that we have on ecalc.com, you can actually change it from the in, infix type notation to the reverse Polish notation by just clicking on this ALG. So they, uh, I think they use the term algebraic notation here. And we can switch to reverse Polish notation. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear everything out here. And what's going on with the reverse Polish notation is we actually have a stack. So every time that we want to enter in an operand, we just hit enter. So we can do something like this. We can say 1, enter, and then 2, enter, just like what we had before as our operands. And then we can apply the operator to that. So effectively, we have these two operands placed on the stack. And then as soon as we hit an operator, it's going to pop those off and apply that operator. So those, uh, the values of 1 and 2 get popped off. And as soon as I hit the plus button, it applies that operator to those operands after they've been popped off. And then it pushes on the result of that value, which in this case is 3. And then we could multiply that by the, the value of 3. So we can do 3 times. And you can see that we have the resulting value of 9. So the neat thing about the reverse Polish notation uh, calculator or the, the format is that you don't have any ambiguity in terms of operator precedence. You can input your operands and then your operator as opposed to doing the infix notation, which does require us to have parentheses to avoid any sort of ambiguity in terms of what we want to perform first. So let's go over to Eclipse now and write our own simple version of a reverse Polish notation calculator using the stack data structure. 